Welcome to another ArtBase tutorial. It's going to be a great day. Now we're going to look at the pencil tools and we're going to divide them into hard and soft. This is the default pencil, which we'll put in the soft category. Let's get another one here, Auto Smooth Me. And that's going to be hard. And hard and dark, oddly enough, is going to be soft. And hard shader is going to be soft too. And hard tip is going to be in the soft category. So don't let the names deceive you. Heavy and smooth is going to be hard. Soft tip is going to be soft. Then precise line is going to fall into the hard category. All right, now the reason I'm dividing these things up is because in real, in the natural world, they are divided by grades, but there are no grades in digital tools. So we have to determine what we can do with the tool to make the most effective use of it. So we can just go look at the hard ones. Now we're going to start with auto smooth. This is with even pressure. This is with light pressure, harder, harder. Soft, harder, soft. Let's add some pressure to it, see what happens, 100%. And I'm going soft, hard, soft. And we really don't see much happening. So let's knock that back. Soft, hard, soft. Bump up the softness, 100%. Soft, hard, soft. And these things that I'm doing, put the pressure back up 100%. I mean, this is how you customize the tool. I mean, this is at a basic point but these are how these are the ways you make the tool fit your drawing style I, I turned off precise and soft hard soft well, actually that was hard soft hard soft and a little light shading medium and hard pressure. When it's thin, there is no way you can shade like this. But when you take off precise, now you can do some shading and get some gradations from light to dark. And this is going to be the same thing. We're using heavy and smooth, even pressure, light, hard. Light, hard, soft. Bump up to pressure to 100%. Soft, hard. And again, there's no, nothing different happening. The softness down, soft, hard, soft. See some minimal difference there, A little drop off. Pressure down. Soft, hard, soft. And you can see it's even lighter. Soft, hard. Let's take off precise. See what happens with this one. And again, it looks like uh, a tool that you can use for shading. So let's do some light pressure here. Harder. Again, light. Hard and end them with soft pressure. So some light shading, medium pressure, I should say, to give medium shading, harder pressure for darker shading. And again, going from light to dark. So you can see with one tool, you can switch back and forth between something that's very precise, which is what we're using now, the thin precise line. Then 
and the possibilities for you while withdrawing, once you are familiar with what the tool can do, is to help you save time for switching out tools when really all you have to do is customize the tool that you use and, and just change the settings uh, to get uh, the result that you want. So the thing is to do exercises like this, just practice, see what happens with the tool and what's possible with it. I mean, but just like any tool, you have to learn what it can do and cannot do before you can use it effectively. And you can see how just taking precise off makes a big difference here. I mean, that's really, that's really a big difference. Light pressure, medium pressure, and harder pressure. And again, I'm doing this real quickly. And obviously you can take more time and get uh, a lot of different shades in there and use and use form, create light and shadow. Okay, now let us look at sizes. Now I've kept everything at the default size, which is 50%. And again, I'm using uh, the different we separate it into the hard uh, category. So looking at all of those at 50% now, let's bump that to 100%. And it's not much different. Again, it's a pencil, it's thin. So you're really not gonna see any difference. It's a little darker, but not by much. So using auto smooth me, 100%. So with precise turned on, we, we got a little bit of pressure there, got some light, dark and light. So that responded. Going back to the default. Oops, I have, I have precise off. Okay, I'm not going to bore you by doing precise, checking off precise on every tool. So we'll just do it on a default tool and you will see that at 100%. Again, a little bit thicker. Okay, I'll switch gears a little bit and let's put these tools into action. I've imported an Egyptian hieroglyph as a tracing image. And I am just going to trace this with the four different tools that we've separated. And so this is what I'm gonna do. So again, rather than a bore you, I'm gonna jump ahead and just show you the finished product. Each of these have been applied to the same subject matter so that you can see the difference between the tools. Default, auto smooth, heavy smooth, and thin precise liner. Now let's look at them all together side by side. Let's zoom in. I mean, you can see there's quite a bit of difference here now. And on this video, you know, it's not really showing at the actual size that I've drawn at. So I have to zoom in. Okay, so that concludes our lesson for today. We're going to next time look at the soft pencil tools. And I won't do the exact same things that I did here. We'll be doing something different. See you next time. And remember, just create. Bye.